We're still working on our dining room table here, and now what we're going to be doing is the legs for the dining room table. Now there are a couple of different ways we can do this, so I'm going to show you both. We're going to start out the same way for either of my two ideas. I'm going to create the top of the leg. For that I'm going to use a combination of straight lines and curved lines. Control C, Control V. I'm adjusting my points just a little bit here. You'll notice I'm making these legs out of several curves and that my scale is really huge at this point, which is okay. We want to make sure that we don't close our curve. We can do that by holding the Alt button. And there we have it. Now firstly, we're going to join all these curves. Then we're going to shrink them. So it's a little easier to work with. Now we can zoom back in. Turn on control points again. Let's do some more adjustments. And we don't really want it perfectly straight. So let's take a look at that. Pretty good. We may need to bring this one in just slightly. Very subtle changes here. I'm going to curve my top piece here a little more. Bring that in just slightly. And that's looking good. So we have a profile curve now for our table leg. Now we're going to need a top curve. Now if we to use our revolve tool, we're already finished. But what I'd like to do is actually have a couple of different options for us here. So to that end, I'm going to come in here. And create a second curve for us. like so. As you can see I left click to pick my points, I right click to finish the curve and then immediately right click to restart another curve. Let's join those curves now. And make this one slightly larger. Now then, we'll start with our rail curve version. I do want to move my leg out just slightly though. And here's how it works. Surface, rail revolve. Select profile curve here, rail curve here. Start of revolve axis, top to bottom. Now let's take a look at what we've got. So there as you can see is our table leg. It's looking a little too thick at the top so I'll undo. And these points here I'm just going to slide over a little bit to there. And this point here will bring down slightly. So again, rail revolve, 
profile and then you select your rail curve which I created at the top and we'll go to here now for now I'm just going to move that off to the side and we'll compare that to a standard revolve surface revolve top to bottom enter so we have two different takes on a table leg here let's take a look at both one as you can see it's a little fancier the other is completely round so I think for this we're gonna go with the fancy one and right now what I'm gonna do is save my changes as table leg and everything looks good 